New video and new place. This time we are in Prague. Prague is the capital of Czech Republic and lies in the heart of the Europe. Keep watching this video till the end to enjoy watching the historic buildings, bridges and museum of Czech Republic. Right now we are standing in front of the municipal building of Prague which is attached to the powder tower. Powder tower is a significant monument of the Gothic architectural style. The starting point for the coronation of the Czech king was through the impressive powder tower. In the 18th century, it was used to store gunpowder, hence the name powder tower. We started our day from Municipal Hall and now we are walking towards Old Town Square, which is around 500 meters from here. at Old Town Square and this square has many things to offer for example astronomical clock or town hall and the church of lady time and the Saint Nicholas church the very famous astronomical clock so as you can see this place is totally crowded i really hope that we get a good place to shoot this video So now we are going inside the old town hall and I am very sure that we will get the amazing view from the top as the weather is really good today. We are now at the top of Old Town Tower. To get here, we paid 10 euros per person which is almost equal to 250 kronas. This ticket also includes the entry to the museum which is on the first floor and of course the beautiful view of this tower.
inside the old town hall this is the place where we can see the statues of 12 various catholic saints here so these statues stand on either side of the wall in the astronomical clock and this is also called the walk of the apostles This is one of the best churches we have ever seen. The distinctive twin gothic spires of the Tyne church makes it the unmistakable old town's landmark, like something straight out of a fairy tale. The church is an awe-inspiring sight during the day and even more so at night, brightly lit up against a night dark sky. If you are new in Prague, consider exchanging the currency because uh, sometimes you may end up paying more if you are paying in euros. But most of the restaurants and bars and most of the places where you buy uh, your eatables, they accept euros. While walking in the old town, we found this hanging sculpture of Sigmund Freud. Uh, this hanging sculpture depicts something that he had different kind of phobias of getting killed. He was in a confused state of whether to hold the bar or to let it go and die. And this is a funny statue in the old town. And you can miss it out because it is hanging above and there is no sign or symbol of this place. Now it is a lunch time and we are very hungry. We wanted to uh, taste special Czech cuisine. Most of them include pork and beef, which we do not eat. So Shreya has ordered uh, fried chicken with bread crumbs and I have ordered tortilla with chicken. So here we have our lunch now. How is it Shreya? Really good. While you are in the city and if you want to exchange your currency, don't be in a hurry because there are many shops and you can also bargain with them. You get many options to exchange your currency. We are at Wenceslas Square and as you can see here, this is a mix of modern and the old style architecture and it's really beautiful here. If you are a shopaholic, this is the right place for you. I am standing in front of the National Museum of Prague. This museum was built in the year 1818 and it is known for its exhibition of scientific and historical collections. If you like to see historic or scientific collections of exhibition, then this is definitely a place for you. As I am not a fan of historic and scientific collections, I am moving to the next spot.
so it was very exhaustive to walk uh, inside the city and this city of prague is very small you can visit different places by walk so all the famous points and tourist attractions are 10 to 15 minutes by walk from each other so you can enjoy walking i will recommend to walk in the evening and not in the afternoon so this is the summer time and it's very hot in here if you can travel by public transportation use it or if you like walking of course like us you can walk because the streets here are very small and very pretty you will really enjoy walking through the streets and they have beautiful trams so most of the trams they have old structure and i was pretty amazed by seeing them so we will take a break of 5 minutes and then we will go to dancing house behind me is the famous architecture of the dancing building this building was designed in the year 1992 and its construction was completed in the year 1996 this building was in the controversy because of its beautiful design and it attracted many tourists as compared to other beautiful buildings in prague however the president of prague at that time supported this project the architect of this building wanted to name this building after the name of famous dancers Fred and Ginger. However, this building is still famous as dancing building. Right now we are at the Petrin view. We came up by a mini train from the bottom of this hill. The ticket of this mini train is covered in your day ticket of public transportation. So you don't need to buy extra ticket if you already have a ticket of public transportation. As soon as we got down from the train, we just came out and we really did not expect this beautiful garden right outside of the station. We are at the viewpoint of the Petrin Tower and this tower looks like the mini version of the Eiffel Tower. So if you want to come to this viewpoint, uh, you need to buy a ticket and we paid uh, 300 kronas which is almost equal to 12 euros. There are a couple of points on even on top of this uh, viewpoint and we will be going up now and the unfortunate thing is the lift is not working today so we really have to go by a walk and it's a bit tiring but the view is really worth it. So we walked all the way to the top of this tower and the view from here is even more beautiful and we can also see the Prague castle from here.
are now heading towards National Theatre. absolutely stunning you will have a really beautiful view of the prague castle and almost the entire prague it is so windy here and we are absolutely loving prague we really got lucky with the weather today and we really love prague so far and this is our first day of course we still have two more days we are very sure that we will cover a lot of amazing places again tomorrow and day after tomorrow yeah but after exploring so many places i am sure that we need more than two days to explore all the important places in prague We really hope that you enjoyed watching this beautiful city with us. You can let us know in the comment section below. Stay tuned and keep supporting. It really means a lot to us. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Hit the like button and share it with your friends who wants to travel to Prague. Until then, stay healthy and travel safe. Bye-bye.